everyone welcome to another video to those who are new welcome to my channel my name is Paula and here I talk about beauty and fragrances and life just whatever comes to mind and to those of you guys returning welcome back it's nice to see you guys again and welcome to today's content if you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel please do that now it would really mean a lot to me and when you do Please don't forget to click the notification bell since it lets you know every time I put out a new video. And of course, don't forget to leave some comments down in the comment section below and press the like button. Today, I'll be focusing on a single fragrance in my perfume collection. It was released in 2017 and I think you can still get it on a bunch of websites on Amazon or eBay or in any of the fragrance websites that you guys shop in. I'm pretty sure it's still available. I just got mine maybe two months ago. If you guys want to hear what I think about this perfume or if you want to take the risk and get this one before it totally goes away, then keep on watching. we're gonna be talking about today is Valentino's Donna Aqua. This, as I said, I got around two months ago and this was a blind buy. I was actually not really sure on getting this fragrance in the first place because I smelled Valentino's Donna, the original one, and I didn't like it. I smelled it personally in the store. I saw it. I did not like it. It was like, it's a beautiful floral, but it was too soapy floral for me. And there was a note in there that I did not really like that much. And that's why I was kind of hesitant on getting this one. But I got Valentino's uh, Donna Born in Roma. And that one I love so much. A definite love at first sniff. That was a very sweet, caramel, woody, spicy kind of fragrance. I totally love it. And yeah. this one... It's very reminiscent of the original Valentino Donna, but it doesn't have a note in there that really like irritates me or that I don't like. This one mainly is a very sweet, nutty fragrance. This has almond in it, it has frangipani, and it has jasmine. I will go over all the notes later, but on first sniff, like straight from the bottle, you get mostly very sweet notes. A sweet floral but a tiny bit soapy and you get a lot of the nuttiness in here I really love this I know this has somewhat very similar features like the Valentino Donna the original but that one was just straight up floral soapy and a note in there that I'm not sure as I said that doesn't sit well with me so I'm gonna spray this one like directly on my hand Straight away, you get the sweetness, you get the florals, and you get that almond in there. It's a very creamy almond, very sweet. And the floral in here, the one that I really smell very distinctly is frangipani. This is a very light floral, kind of soapy fragrance, very beautiful. I've worn this one many times. And I just kind of like limit myself using this one because I only have a 30 ml bottle and I'm not really into florals as I've said in my previous videos. I'm not into very strong florals, very soapy florals and nutty like that kind of very light, very, very feminine floral kind of scent. And this is that kind of scent but I love this one so much. Because I thought, you know, even if I'm not going to like it, I would, because I, I blind bought this one and I thought, if I don't like it, I could just give this away. But I'm so happy that I got this one. It's very beautiful. It's very light. But before I go over the longevity and the sillage, or if you would want to take the chance and get this one, if you still can, um, I will go over the notes first. So this perfume is described as a floral, fruity, almond, and sweet, and nutty perfume. And this was released in 2017. Because this is such an amazing fragrance. So anyway, this is sweet and nutty and floral. And it has the top notes of pear and almond. And it has middle notes of jasmine and frangipani. And the base notes are sandalwood and hawthorn. So you get that sweetness and freshness and fruitiness from the pear. And the creamy, nutty almond that's in there on the top. Because as I said, when you smell it straight from the bottle, that's what you get. And when you spray it, first spray 
of course it's in the top notes that's what you immediately get it's beautiful and when it settles down in your skin you can get the frangipani that exotic floral and also the jasmine and in the base you have your sandalwood but it's not like overly woody this one the sandalwood in here is very milky and a little bit green and it has that very creamy oriental vibe to it but it's not that very prominent it's not that forward and then you have your hawthorn paired with that it's like your dirty animalic floral scent so this one is basically just all about creaminess and nuttiness and a lot of florals in there with the sweetness and crispness and also like a bit aquatic feature from the pear this one lasts like a moderate time on me when i sprayed it like totally on my skin yes it did last maybe like eight hours or so and when i do spray it on my clothes it does last quite a good time also on the clothes but i do love it more like when i smell it on my skin because it becomes very milky very creamy on the clothes it's also the same but you get more of the florals that's what i noticed siage i would say soft to moderate maybe moderate in the first two hours i would guess maybe an arm's length or less in the first hour and more like skin scent as the time goes by am i happy that i bought this one yes Am I happy that I got this one just because it's being discontinued? I don't think so. Even if, for example, this wasn't discontinued, I'm pretty sure I would still try this one. Coming from a person that is not really that much into floral fragrances and taking a risk on this one as a blind buy, you know, just give it a try if you could. This one is amazing, beautiful. I love it. If you guys already own this one, let me know in the comment section below. So this is a Valentino's Donna Aqua. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. If you are not subscribed to my channel, once again, I would like to remind you guys to please do. And of course, when you do that, don't forget to click the notification bell. And it would also mean a lot to me if you guys could leave comments down in the comment section below. And of course, by clicking the like button. Doing that would help my channel a lot. Thank you for joining me in today's video. Have fun, you guys. Much love and see you on the next one.